Hello YouTube. So today we are going to be diving in and we are going into my trash and we are going to do some product empties. I have a ridiculous amount of empties and I need to go through them because the bag is overflowing. So I split them up into three different categories. Today we are going to be doing skincare. I got a lot of skincare. So without further ado, let's get right on into it and look at my beauty trash. You know, I never thought someone with so much makeup could go through this much stuff. It's insane. It just it just blows my mind. Like I have so much skincare and so much makeup that I try so many different products. But I am one of those people that will like make sure I use an entire product up because I do not want to waste it. I don't want it to go bad, especially skincare. Skincare is hella expensive. The first product that I used up is this Purity Made Simple. This is the 3-in-1 cleanser for face and eyes. This is what the bottle looks like. I love this cleanser. This is an amazing cleanser. I haven't repurchased it, but I definitely will. This takes off your makeup, removes everything. It is so gentle. It doesn't even like, it's like a cream formula. Oh, this is, guys, love it. Highly recommend. If you are looking for a makeup remover slash face cleanser, this is your three in one, it's perfect. The next product that I used, oh, there is some hair on this. So the next product that I used up is the Body Shop Drops of, Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. I love liquid peels. They are so great for exfoliating and they're just by far amazing. This one from the Body Shop, I would not re recommend re like purchasing this. It wasn't my favorite. Like I, there's still some in there and I honestly gave up on it. I tried really hard to use this up. Yeah, there's just better enzyme exfoliating peels out there. You pay for what you get. That is all I gotta say about that. <laughs> this next product is like, she was hella expensive, so there was no way this one was going to waste. So these are the Zio or Zo. I don't know how you actually properly say it, so I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but it, this is Zio Skin Health Complexion Renewal Pads. These I was using while I was on my Accutane journey, and these I kind of used after cleansing to exfoliate my skin a little bit further. They are kind of like a toner slash exfoliator. I like these, but... For the price, there is cheaper alternatives. And that is all I'm going to say. <laughs> I did like the product, but honestly, like just the amount of money that you spend on skincare, it just, like I felt like I went through them so quick. Like you go through one of these in a month, especially if you use a day and night, like I was while I was on Accutane, because I was trying to get rid of the acne. Guys, I love this product. I use this in my kit. I love this. I use this on my oily skin clients. I use this personally. This is also a Edmonton base brand. This is Essentials by Nature facial toner and like mm, I just love this toner. It does like it honestly did wonders for my skin. It was so good. I loved it. I also have continuously been repurchasing this. I love Essentials by Nature. She's absolutely amazing and I know her personally as well which is Kind of cool that I built a relationship with her. Um, I built up a relationship after I started using her products, so don't think that I'm being biased by any way. Um, but everybody who I use this on or tell about absolutely loves the smell of this. They love what it does for their skin, so I cannot recommend this enough. This is, the label's a little worn off, but this is what her brand looks like. I have a few other products in here that I will share. So also by Essentials by Nature is the Rosewater Face Spray. This can be used as a setting spray or a hydration spray. I like to spray this on all of my dry skin clients before um, I put makeup on them. So I use this as a hydration spray, obviously. And it also works as a setting spray as well. I would not recommend to use this as a setting spray on really oily skin girls. It is going to make them look hella dewy. Um, but for the dry skin girls, I really, really like this product. And again, I have continually repurchased this product. I've gone through probably four of them by now. I love them and I love Jill. If you guys haven't checked out Essentials by Nature, I highly recommend you do. Another product by Essentials by Nature is the Face the Day Nourishing Day Cream. So this is a day cream that I have used as well. And I also do carry this in my kit too. So this is a moisturizer that I use on absolutely everybody. 
I used it differently on so it did go bad unfortunately so that is why it is in here but I was almost at the bottom of it. I use this on almost every single one of my clients. My dry skin clients really like this. My oily skin clients I kind of just put this on the perimeter of their face and blend it in. Um, I try not to over hydrate their face just because they are oily skin. Again, another great moisturizer if you are looking for a naturally based skincare company. Trust me when I say Essentials by Nature is amazing. Um, if you go down below and click the link and use my discount code, I am an affiliate with Essentials by Nature. I do really love their skincare. It is an amazing skincare. So if you go down below, I have all of the information for them down below. So moving on to moisturizers now, I go through moisturizers like crazy. That is like the biggest thing that I use. So this is the Vivier Hydrogel Advanced B5 Complex. This is with hyaluronic acid. Again, I also used this while I was on Accutane and I adored this product. So good, but really expensive. So it's kind of one of those things like if you're willing to spend money on skincare, it's good. Can you find something at the drugstore for cheaper that is very, very similar? Speaking of which, this would be one of them. So this is the Indeed Laboratories Hydrolon Moisture Jelly. I really, I don't know what it is today. I just can't pronounce words. But this is the Hydrolon Moisture Jelly. This is very similar to that last product that I just shown from Vivier. And honestly, this one's a little thicker than this one, but this brand does have a serum. So I'm just saying, dupe for very cheap. So if you're looking to save a little bit of cash, I would go to this side. If you're bougie and you like expensive skincare, try the Vivier. It's really good. I like both of them. So you know, everyone raves about this product, and I just I don't know how I feel about it. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is a very popular product in the industry. A lot of women love this balm. I personally love other ones more. I love the Clinique one a lot more and I've, I've been using cleansing oils more. I really, really like cleansing oils. This is kind of the same thing but just a balm form. But I think I've liked those ones more so I would probably repurchase those ones again, not the pharmacy one. This is the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. This was such a long time ago that I used this product. Um, this shows you how long it's been since I have gone through my beauty trash. But this product is a matte moisturizer. Honestly, matte moisturizers don't even waste your time. If you are an oily skin girl looking for something to make you matte, like use a gel cream. Don't use matte moisturizers. I personally think that they're a joke. Would not recommend to ever buy again. It wasn't a bad product, but it just, like the name is just deceiving. Okay, this next product though, like made all of my childhood Jolly Rancher watermelon dreams come true. Smells absolutely delicious. This is the Glow Recipe Waterman Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And oh my god, if you love and adore watermelon, get this. It was great. I loved it. It seeped into my skin really, really nicely. I, I would totally rebuy this again. And it's in glass packaging and it's cute. It's bougie. I really like Glow Recipe products. I, there hasn't been a single thing I've tried from Glow Recipe that I've not liked. Um, their banana souffle cream. I wish you guys could smell that. It smells so freaking good. But yes, I would totally repurchase this again, but I have a lot of skincare I gotta get through before I can. This product is amazing, but you know, I can never get through the bottle until it goes bad. So this is the Vivier Radiant Serum. This is an anti-aging skin and or skin brightening serum with L-absorbic acid and I can't even word those, but this is what it looks like. The, so Vivier is absolutely known for their vitamin C's. I have been using this vitamin C for a really long time. I also have another one in my bathroom, but when it goes bad, it goes straight orange. And that's when you know it's not good anymore, so you should not be putting it on your skin. It actually turns into like straight up iodine after it oxidizes. So that is why it is kept in a brown jar. I still have like this much in it, which really pains me because this is an expensive serum. 
So what I repurchased, I have. I have this, again, it's sitting in my bathroom and I've been using it. And um, I really like this vitamin C, but it's, it is expensive. So if you know you're not like a huge skincare person, I probably wouldn't buy it, but it is a really good product. So then I would recommend it, but just make sure you are using it like every morning and hopefully you'll get through the bottle. I just, it just sucks about how fast like it gets bad. Like there's so much still in there, which sucks. This looks so gross, so please ignore what is all over this, but this is the Ole Hendrickson Collagen Boosted with Triple Vitamin C Complex. I probably will never repurchase this serum again. Again, I just use more high quality vitamin C serums. I really like stuff that I know this is going to make a difference in me. Um, the only other vitamin C from Sephora that I've noticed a difference with is the Drunk Elephant one. I adore that vitamin C, but again, it goes bad really quick, so make sure you use it because it is an expensive one and it hurts the wallet a little bit. So I would not repurchase this Ole Hendrickson one again, but I mean, if you're looking for an affordable option, it was really good. It just smelled like orange pop. Again, you can't buy skincare based on the fragrance. Fragrance is really, really bad for your skin, and yeah. I do really like Ole Henderson as a brand. Their sheer, their sheer Transformation Moisturizer, so good. I use that one in my kit as well, and I really, really like it. These are my life. I have been using these for like four years. I love these so much, and I think there's still some in here. Yeah, they dried up. So they are these Hydrogel Eye Patches. They're the Cucumber Detox ones from... Peter Thomas Roth and guys I love these these are some of the best eye patches I've ever used and I absolutely love and adore these I like I just I can't rave about these enough there's hyaluronic acid in them so they plump up your eyes help smooth fatigue eyes um, depuff awaken they're really great I love them I would definitely repurchase them again but uh, I have some other stuff that I gotta get through. Pixie sent me some, so I'm using those currently. But I do like these ones a lot more. Face mask time! So, so this is definitely what is all over all my skincare products. But this is the Garnier Skin Active Aqua Boost Fresh Mix Sheet Mask Set. So this is a face mask that came dry and then on one side it had the serum. I would never repurchase this again. I did not like this. I felt like my skin actually felt really dry after. Like I kind of just like sucked up all of the serum and it just disappeared. Like I did not feel hydrated. Yeah, I just like after it, I felt very, very dry, which you should not feel after a sheet mask. You should not feel that dry. So again, I would not repurchase this. Honestly, if you're going to go for a mask, I would go for the original Garnier mask. That one's really good. I really, really like that one in the blue packaging. Not this one that you got to squeeze and do all that stuff. Don't do that. Just get the original one. The next mask I tried is the Innisfree My Real Squeeze Mask in Ginseng. I bought a 10 pack of these and they're okay. They're not my favorite skincare mask ever. Um, they are really good for moisturizing. I didn't feel like my skin felt as tight and dry as the Garnier one. So I do recommend, I found these actually at Winners in like a 10 pack. So they were cheap and so I picked them up. But I honestly don't reach for these ones much. These are kind of when I don't have any other ones that I want to try. These are the ones I go for. So I probably would never buy these again. All right, guys. This is like the holy grail of face masks. And it's like the most extensive face mask too. But this is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. And oh my freaking god, you guys. This is the best sheet mask I've ever used in my entire life. I loved it. Saved my skin. This was just pure beautifulness on my skin. Made it look so good. So hydrated. So dewy. I like, I love this. I will continue to keep repurchasing these even though they're like $20 a mask, which is hella expensive, but highly recommend. If you're looking, honestly, for like a special occasion or something and you really want to like glow and pop, purchase this. Just do it. Spend your money on this. All right, like this is worth it to me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel and make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button down below. It would mean the world to me. Thank you for going through my trash with me. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mwah.